Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy. This is the last devotional for this week. You have a great weekend. Make sure you get involved in a church. We're talking about asking directions. And I re- I almost started today, yesterday, when I said, all right, and we're going to jump into this. I know I talked a lot about yesterday about, you know, hearing God's voice and, and, and all that. So just today, we're going to talk about pray instead of just assuming you know, you know, um, Pray a lot. It's a big thing. Prayer is the key to knowing and knowing the direction of the Lord. So I'm going to give you several scriptures and then talk about them. Joshua 9, 14. So the men took some of their provisions but did not ask counsel from the Lord. Joshua 1, 5. If any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God who gives generously to all who finds fault and it will be given to him. Joshua 1, 5 in the message. If you don't know what you're doing, pray to the Father and he he loves to help. You get this help, get his help. Joshua 9, 16. At the end of three days and they made a covenant with them, they heard that they were their neighbors and that they lived among them. And Joshua 9, 22. Joshua summoned these guys that came and said to them, why did you deceive us? Why are you, why are you far from you when you dwell among us? So basically in that midst of those guys showing up that we talked about yesterday, they, they confronted them. 9, 3, Proverbs 9, 3, 5 is trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. So basically when it comes down to this, pr- Pray instead of assuming that you know, that you know everything. Um, There's so many times that I just kind of pray and I say, God, show me your way. And there's been many, many times that I'm not sure what's next. I just say, God, I trust you and I need your direction. I need your guidance. Will you keep on showing me your way? Will you keep on directing my path? because I don't want to misstep. So I'm going to listen to your voice. I'm going to listen to your still small voice because I can't do this without you. And then keep on listening. And then if I still don't understand what's next, I always ask for counsel. And uh, because there are people wiser and more knowledgeable than I. And I'm telling you, you can find those people. So let me pray for you today. Have a great weekend and I'll see you next week. All right, Lord, thank you so much. Thank you for those watching. Uh, Bless them. I pray for those who are sick, heal their bodies. I pray for those who are well, keep them healthy. I pray for our government, give them wisdom as they make decisions. I pray for the economy, turn it around. I pray for those who are in need, provide for them. I do pray that, Lord, that you just... uh, Help us to be a blessing those that we come in contact with. And I do pray that, Lord, that you give us the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody this week. And, Lord, thank you so much for all that you do in your name. Amen. Hey, have a blessed weekend. Love you guys. And we'll talk to you next week. Thanks so much for tuning in. God bless you.